Harris has one of the most unique and comprehensive labs in this country. We're an information powerhouse. We have one of the most sophisticated computational systems that can be made. It's important for the patient to get the best result. It's not just enough to get a result. You want a result that you can rely on. So it starts off by those packages being moved down to the accessioning room. Within the accessioning room, we are opening up the packages under two high-resolution cameras, one up in the ceiling so it can be seen, and then a high-resolution camera that allows us to take photographs of all of the documentation as well as the samples that we're receiving. We're then able to move the case into the lab. The first stop within the lab is in microtomy. So microtomy is where you take that piece of tissue and you mount it on to a special machine called a microtome that allows you to slice off very thin pieces of the tissue. And so we cut at a thickness that is substantially thinner than most typical people that are preparing slides like this. Then we'll run it at what's called an H&E at the beginning and the middle. An H&E is a special type of stain that allows our pathologists to evaluate the material that's there. So evaluation of those H&E stains allows our pathologist to determine which areas of the tissue we should be moving forward with our testing. Those slides that have the most tumor nuclei are the ones that we want to use for our molecular testing. Those with fewer tumor nuclei are the ones that we can use for our histochemical testing. So we actually evaluate those slides underneath the microscope and use a scalpel to carve out those underlying cells that are cancer in nature, avoiding the normal cells. Then we go into DNA and RNA extraction. So we have separate methodologies that we use in order to, to optimally uh, extract the different nucleic acid material from these samples. Once we've taken those steps within the lab and done all of that work, uh, then we can start our library prep. So library prep, again, uh, is different for our RNA-based assays as for our DNA-based assays, but we've got a lot of robotic systems that we've put in place to be able to perform those assays as quickly as possible. Once the robot part is done, then we can load it on the sequencer. So uh, the DNA panel right now will run on a NextSeq. Uh, sometimes we run it on a NovaSeq. The RNA runs on a NovaSeq. So we've got five NovaSeqs uh, that are in clinical production today. The massive volume of cases and information that are generated by that machine is really a testament to the thoroughness by which we are profiling cancer patients. We really don't want to leave a stone unturned. All that information is going to be reviewed by our geneticists. So all of the molecular information is going to be scrutinized and QC'd uh, to ensure that we are delivering the appropriate recommendations to the patients. So our team of geneticists and geneticist assistants are evaluating every single piece of molecular data that is ever going to make it onto our report. Once they've signed off on that, that piece of information is integrated with all of the histology information that we've generated by performing our IHCs, and that's then integrated together and reviewed by our pathologists. Our pathologists are then looking at the complete case with all of the molecular information, all of the protein IHC information, all of the case history notes, and everything that we know about this to ensure, again, that we are making the proper designation and for drugs that are more likely to be effective versus drugs that will be less likely to be effective. At the end of that, they're going to sign off on that entire report, and then we will deliver the report uh, to the physician to aid in patient care. What I feel the CARES difference is is a focus on the patient. So our entire philosophy revolves around, is this how you would want your mother treated? And, you know, or your father, or your sister, or your brother, or your son, or your daughter. And so every decision that we make is with the patient at the center of that decision making. Keras is an incredible place to work. It is one of the most unique laboratories in the world. We have every available technology at our fingertips to ensure that we're enabling oncologists to do the best by their patient that they possibly can. It's this comprehensive suite of offering that allows Keras to be the number one molecular profiling service company in the world today.